This short video is going to show you how you can create folders in your OneDrive, um, upload documents into them and share them with your fellow students or your fellow teachers. It works exactly the same whether you're a teacher or a student in lme to b So the first thing to note is when you're signed into your email, this is signing into the email version here, the webmail version. And to do that, there's links on school websites on the lme to b website um, loud me these loud VEC and me the VEC websites, but simply it's um, owa.lmetb.ie will bring you there as well. Once you sign in with your LMETB username and password, you come to this view here of your email, your normal email. In the banner, you have these links, and the link you want to go on into is called OneDrive. OneDrive used to be known as SkyDrive, um, but a name change last year happened, and it's now known as OneDrive. So when you click into here it will take you to the site. The first time you've opened it, it'll take just a minute or so in order for it to, to pull all the information through. Now, if you click in and you don't see a view that looks like this with blue and white, and if you click in and you see a view that has a pink banner running across the top with a dark black uh, bar underneath it, this is the old version of OneDrive or SkyDrive. And what you're going to be asked to do is up drive or up um bring your, your SkyDrive up to a, a latest vers version and you do that by clicking on the pink line. However, if you've been using this last year and you have documents and folders inserted in the site, you will lose content if you upgrade. So prior to this, if you want to upgrade, I would suggest you click into any folders that you have and make sure you have them saved locally on your machine or on a USB stick before you upgrade. Because if you upgrade to the newer version, your documents or folders will not be brought through to the newer version. So that done, that takes just a couple of minutes to upgrade to the new version of OneDrive, which is um, really the 2013 version. So what you have here is you have your OneDrive. Now I've been just using it for a little while and I have some folders listed in here. The easiest way, the quickest way you can do is to click on New Folder. So you're going to create a folder, upload some documents into it and share it with your students. So you could do this if you're a teacher and you wanted to share some notes or some resources with them that you don't want to either email to them or you don't want to keep photocopying and handing out to them. The beauty of this is that once you upload the documents into it, um, they will have it always and you don't have to worry about them losing their notes. So the first thing is to do is to click on new. So click on the plus sign and what you've been asked to do is create a folder. So select new folder. I'm going to call this folder test video but you could call it leave insert history 2014 first year business and so on and select save. So it's now created a folder I have it there and it sorts these alphabetically. Click on test video to open it up and I can simply upload any documents that I have created. So if I click, click on upload, a bit like your email, you browse for it. Um, I can find a document now. And select OK. Obviously, the larger the file, the slightly longer it will take. And the quicker your broadband speed as well, the quicker it will be. You can actually create a document directly within that uh, folder as well if you went by clicking plus new. And you can actually create a document within here rather than uploading one. Just do it in exactly the same way. So that document now, welcome back Colossian and me, is, is here in the, in the test video folder. To go back to your main page, maybe your landing page, easiest way to do it all the time is click on OneDrive. When you click on OneDrive, that's the home page and you'll see in your test video folder here. When you click into it, there's the document that we uploaded in here. So that's a very quick way to create a document. Now you're the only one that can see that folder. The beauty about this is that when you want to share this folder with anyone within the organisation, it's really, really easy to do. So I have my test video here. There's three dots listed against that open menu. So when I click on those three dots, I have something here that says share. Share the file or folder with other person or group. So select share. Okay, enter the names. 
If you have a group of students who are already a core class in your school, you can actually share it directly with that group here and it will pull in the 30 or so names without you having to know the 30 names. This is very useful for core classes such as English, Irish, however they're, however they're core in the school. To find the core classes, you simply start typing the three letter acronyms of the school. So in this case, if I start typing DCC, it finds all the DCC core classes in here. So if I select DCC 1A4, click on that, every student in DCC 4, class 1A4, will be, have access to this folder. And the good thing is, is that if the secretary or the principal or deputy move a student out of 1A4 and into 1A3, that child is no longer in your group. So it's intuitive with the database in the school. So again, to find any group, you just select the three letter acronym and find the group you wish, wish to share the folder with. Okay. Now that is only core classes. If you're an options teacher or the students are in different groups, those are not there. To, to add those students in, you simply start typing the names. So it's a bit like doing your teacher journal at the start of the year. You have to write down your names at the start of the year. It takes a bit of time, but then once it's done, it's done. However, with that, remember if a child leaves your class, you have to remember to remove them. Or if a child a student joins your class, you have to remember to add them in. So once the student has an LME to be account, they're in this lookup directory and you can find them by simply start typing names. As you start name typing, it'll find all the people with that name in the organization and you can select the, set, the correct one. In this case, I'm just going to take Larry. I'm going to look for Dean. So here you have a number of students. So you can see here Dean Ahern and Dean Birmingham. As I rest, I'm not, I'm not clicking here, as I rest my mouse over the student's name, it shows the three letter acronym. So you know, for example, that Dean Brodigan is dot SOC, so he's in St. Oliver's Community College. Dean Byrne is an OFI in OFI College and this Dean Byrne is an SPC St. Peter's College. So if you are looking for Dean here you should need to make sure that you select the correct Dean Byrne for this. So in this case I'm going to collect those and you work down through your names. Now obviously in this case I don't want all these people getting this so I'm going to just remove, remove, remove. I'm just going to leave this video folder being shared with Larry. The next thing is this box here can edit. It's set to default to go to can edit. In this case the people who you share this folder with can edit the documents within the folder. You may wish that to happen if it's a shared folder with teachers where you're working on planning documents and so on. With students you may only wish them to have can view. You don't want them editing the notes in the folder. So you just select can view. Here is an, um, a box where you can type a message that the people getting access to this folder will get in their emails. It's a really handy one to have because the link directly to this folder will go to their email. So I'm just going to type something New folder with notes for the year. Whatever you want to type and then you can sign it and you select share. Now in this case I'm only going to um, I'm going to choose can edit. So I'm going to let Larry edit that folder. Okay so I've shared the folder. If I go into the folder I have Colossian the me document in there now. So what happened there pop up on my screen because I'm in my Outlook is that Rosing Lawler has shared test video with notes for the year. The users who you share this with will also get this message in their email and there's a handy link exactly to what you call the video there or the, the folder there. It, that will take them directly to the folder from their email. But as soon as they go into OneDrive, the students when they click on OneDrive, they will see the video, sorry the folder here as well. So you'll see it and they'll see it. Okay so if I can open up the folder I can click on the document. It's opening Word Online. Okay, so this is the document that I've shared with Larry. We both have edit rights over it, so we can actually edit that document and you can edit it within the browser 
online. So you're not sharing a version and, and re-uploading it again. To do that is simply select Edit Document. Edit in Word Online will give you quick version. Edit in Full Word gives you the full toolbars. I'm just going to select the second one. And I'm going to highlight Return to School Schedule just to show you how the changes work. I'm going to change that to red. And you can see down here it's saving it automatically as I go. See that there? It's saying saving, 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 saved. So if I go back using my back button, okay, if I go back now to OneDrive, I'll just go back just to show you exactly. If I go all the way back to my OneDrive, into my folder, and into that document, you can see that that document has now been changed to red. So it saved it directly in there. So if you are working on planning, you can start a document uh, with one of the teachers. The teacher can log in at any time and edit it and change it. The last person who has edited it, sorry, just went out quickly there. The last person who has modified or edited that document was show there. So I was the last person to do that. If Larry had gone in and edited, it would show his name. The other thing you can do is you can follow documents. So if you have a document, uh, quite a lot of folders, and you know people are working on them, you can actually follow them. And to do that is the three dots, follow. It will mark it as a follow document. And any time from the home page of the OneDrive, you will see a follow document section and they're all listed there. So handy if you're working on a few projects um, that you're, you're just not sure where they are, you, you want to find quickly. Back to OneDrive. Okay, search the OneDrive if you can't remember where, where something is in particular. Um, you can have a search for it there. Okay, so you can find the documents in the OneDrive that are relevant for you. To get rid of a folder, or document is really easy. If I go into the test video, the three dots beside that particular document, if I want to remove that one particular document from the folder, click on the three dots, come down here, there's three dots again, more actions, and delete. If I select delete there, that document will be deleted. Okay back to OneDrive. To actually get rid of the folder is the three dots again. Three dots again for your more actions and delete. Okay, so I won't do that for the second. You can see when I click on those three dots there, it's telling me who this document is shared with. So you can always check. Um, this is where if you've got a list of 30 students and another student joins, you can see if their name is there. If their name isn't, you can just click on share, open it up and type in the name of the next person that you want to share it with and so on. Okay, I'm just going to select Bernie there and share. I didn't send a little message there to Bernie in that, but she'll still get the link in her email, but it just wouldn't be a personal message from me. To get rid of that folder, there's just a message popping up into my email. The same will pop to Bernie's. So if I just show you there, just click on it. Here's the folder that's shared with you. Just no personal message from me that time. So to get rid of the folder is the three dots. Three dots again and delete. And select OK. And that's it. That's a really, really um, quick um, explanation of OneDrive. Um, just showing you how to create folders, add documents into it and share them. Uh, very quickly with a number of students. Really handy if you want to get your notes out to your exam students um, and also if your students want to create them and share notes with you um, put up essays that they want you to have a look at as extra work. If you have groups of students working together such as maybe transition years working on an enterprise project, three or four of them, let them create a OneDrive site um, sorry, create OneDrive section for the, the people in the group and share resources between themselves in this way, they can um, collaborate much more easily than they can by emailing work back and forth. Thanks very much.